Hello fellow YouTubers. I went to a motorcycle swap meet this morning and I think that's where I'll be buying most of my my motorcycle stuff from these days on. For instance, I've been looking for one of those um, nice Pendletons that has a little armor embedded in it for, I'd say just keep, I've been keeping my eyes open for I'd say a good year. And they always clock in at like one, 150 160 it's a lot of money for a Pendleton with just a little bit of padding in the elbows and shoulders maybe so uh down at the swap meet i've found one brand new for 79 dollars so a little bit more than half price so i wanted to read though this this answers so much you know i'm really impressed with the lord's forgiveness I, I made a recent video about on my other channel about long suffering and his patience and his mercy. Well, this explains it perfectly. I'm reading the Old Testament, the book of Sirach, and this really explains it so well. If a person lives a hundred years, he has lived an unusually long time, but compared with all eternity, those years are like a drop of water in the ocean like a single grain of sand. That is why the Lord is so patient with us, why he is so free with his mercy. He looks at us and knows that we are doomed to die. That is why he is so willing to forgive us. A person can show compassion for someone he knows, but the Lord shows compassion for all humanity. He corrects us, he disciplines us, he teaches us. Like a shepherd tending sheep, he brings us back to himself. He will have compassion on us if we accept his guidance and are eager for him to show us where we are wrong. You know, I think once the Lord gets a hold of you, he doesn't let go. Like I've said in so many videos, I asked the Lord to come into my heart and make a home there at age 12 and this Baptist summer camp I went to with my cousin. And he's, he's never left, even though I got so far away from him. Um, whenever I would call to him, he would come rushing with the, the warm blanket of the Holy Spirit, I like to call it, that just drapes over you and gives you that sense of ease that I, don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. Um, but then like, you know, every now and then I lived by this church, this Catholic church, and they would come by like maybe once a year and just, you know, invite us to the church, give out some pamphlets. And sometimes when they would come, I would like break down crying because I knew I wasn't pleasing the Lord with my lifestyle and I wasn't giving him his just honor and, and praise and respect. And that was a long time to carry that, that sadness that I knew deep inside that he is so good and he is with me and he comes to me whenever I call, but I neglect that relationship. I neglect him and, and, and what he is owed. So just those two things, why he's so merciful and why He never lets us go. So be ready. If, if you're someone that's just recently asked the Lord into your heart, or if you're someone that is thinking about it, he's not gonna let go. <laughs> he doesn't, he doesn't let go. And it reminds me of another quote from the Bible, you know, once the Lord has began a good work in you, he completes it. You know, he is loyal and so on that note, I would just like to say, um, invite the Lord into your heart because he won't let you down. He'll always be with you. He'll always support you. He'll always look out for you. You become one of his children. And like a verse I read a long time ago that made me cry. It's just so beautiful how he cares so much for his children. Yeah, he is, like I just said, he cares for all of humanity. But boy, it's like tenfold 
when you're someone that turns towards him and wants to honor his holy name. So have a good Sunday. God bless. Leave a like, hit, hit um, like, dislike, leave a comment. Talk to you later.